Do you want to control the heating in every room of your house? You need a Hive TRV. A TRV is a thermostatic radiator valve which attaches to your radiator and allows you to control the amount of hot water entering the radiator. It's most likely you already have them inside your home where you can turn it to one, two, three, four, all the way up to six, which means the hottest setting. This means more hot water is entering the radiator, which heats up the room. However, the numbers one to six don't really correspond to any sort of degree Celsius. Six doesn't mean six degrees and one doesn't mean one degree. It all depends on what your boiler is set to downstairs, upstairs, in the attic, wherever the boiler is. It's also very likely you have a thermostat inside your house, which is in your living room or in a bedroom or somewhere which you don't actually spend all your time. That thermostat can only read the temperature inside that room. For example, I have my thermostat in my living room where I sit on a sofa watching TV. It says it's 22 degrees in the room and it feels nice and toasty, but then I go outside to the corridor and it's absolutely freezing. This is due to multiple reasons. The insulation in my house won't be perfect. There's more radiators in the living room than there is in the corridor. And I am quite an idiot and I've put my thermostat above a PS5, which will heat up the room and heat up the thermostat quite quickly. However, if my thermostat was in the corridor, it would make sure the house was even warmer to make that corridor hit the 22 degree mark or whatever I've set it to. This would then mean the living room is even hotter and quite unbearable around 25 degrees. This is where a Hive TRV comes in. A Hive TRV connects to your Hive smart thermostat system. So if you don't have a Hive yet, you don't have a Hive mini or an original, you can't really get one of these bad boys. If you want to see more information about a Hive Mini or a Hive Original, I've done a comparison video, I've done a review, I've even compared them to the Google Nest, so check out the links down below or look at the cards up here throughout the video. Whilst I'm here, if you are finding this video helpful, please do subscribe down below as it helps us know our videos are reaching the right people. Let's get back to the video. If I install a Hive TRV onto my radiator in the corridor, it will sense the temperature inside the corridor. So whilst my living room thermostat is saying 22 degrees in the living room, my TRV will feed back to the boiler that the corridor is only 18 degrees. This will then make the TRV open up the radiator to allow more hot water into the corridor radiator. Therefore, for making the corridor heat up to the desired 22 degrees. I can then throughout my house dot more of these TRVs here and there on the upstairs corridor, the attic corridor, the bathroom radiator. I can make sure every room is heated to my exact desired temperature. Before getting a Hive TRV, I would have to just ramp up the heating as high as it can go to make sure every room is hitting at least 22 degrees, which just makes other rooms unbearable. Alternatively, you could go upstairs to every radiator that you wanted on, turn it to six, and turn the ones you didn't want on to zero, but that's a lot more effort than it needs to be. With a Hive TRV in every room inside my house, I can have the attic all the way up to 22 degrees, the middle floor maybe around 18, the living room to 22, the kitchen to 18. There's so much more control and variety which actually improves the efficiency of your system. This is one of the main kickers with the Hive TRV is that it does increase efficiency across your home. If you don't have anyone living in your spare rooms, you don't have anyone occupying those rooms, or maybe it's an office you only use nine to five, Monday to Friday, you can turn off the radiators on a schedule every day you aren't using it. From an efficiency standpoint, these things are great. They cost around 40 pounds, I wanna say, but you can pick them up in multi-packs off Hive's website or Amazon for quite a lot cheaper. And if you install them across all your radiators inside your home, it really helps you control the environment that you're actually living in. I can adjust every single room temperature from my phone in the comfort of my sofa. It's pretty damn good. From an installation standpoint, these are super, super easy to install. There is a guide inside the box itself or on the app or a plethora of videos on YouTube all about it. You simply undo the TRV on the radiator that you have currently, make sure the adapter fits, pop it on, screw the new TRV on, turn it on with batteries and let it go. The batteries in these things last quite a long time too. If you get Duracells in the box or you buy Duracells separately, they're gonna last for at least six to eight months. From there, the app will show the TRVs right away and you can now control your entire house within one app. Another great feature has to be the smart home compatibility, which obviously comes hand in hand with the Hive thermostat. I can now use Alexa or Siri to control the room temperatures in each room inside my home, which is just beyond crazy. When I come home from work, I now ask Alexa what temperature the house is, it normally says around 21 to 22 degrees, 
And then I'll ask a separate question, how hot is the upstairs bathroom or the attic? If the temperatures don't reach what I like, I can then adjust using my voice, go upstairs, check the feel of it. Do I like it? Do I not like it? It's a very nice system to have in place. I have dogs at home, so the living room is always at 22 degrees no matter what. There is no negotiating with a dog. However, upstairs in the attic, I only use it nighttime, so I have it to come on around six o'clock. It'll start to heat up to around 20 degrees, and then around 9 p.m. it goes all the way up to 22 degrees, so it's nice and toasty for when I get in bed. During the daytime, it stays around 16 to 18 degrees, which is just perfect for when I come home. For me, the final verdict on the Hive TRV is that the price is slightly high, but the benefits from the efficiency standpoint kind of outweigh that. The installation is super simple, the compatibility with your phone and Hive systems are really nice, and having that control over my entire house through one app is just irreplaceable and a great feature that I use day in and day out. If all this sounds great, I will leave a link down below to Amazon where you can get these from or Hive's exact website. There also will be a link there for iHeat, which is the boiler company we are talking about today. We have over 7,000 Trustpilot reviews, nearly 400 gas safe registered engineers nationwide that can install your boiler the very next day. Get a quote today, take a few photos, send them over to our team, and we can be there the very next day to install your new boiler. There's also the option to add a Hive Mini to your order, which gets the ball rolling on this whole TRV fun. If you have any questions about the Hive TRVs or any other competitors' TRVs, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to get discussions started in there, but that has been it for this review. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. This has been Hive.